do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let's solve next question question number 30 of uh, physics uh, paper 2 2014 generally advanced code 8 so let us solve question number 30 hello students let's start question number 30 and solve it the question is a glass capillary tube is about uh, it's a fluid chapter or uh, based on surface tension glass capillary tube is of the shape of a truncated cone with an apex angle alpha the cone is uh, like this if i complete this then this angle is alpha this angle is alpha and uh, so that its two ends have cross sections of red, different radii so this one is having different radius of curvature and this end is having different radius of curvature this is having different radius of curvature this is having different radius two sections and uh, two ends have cross section of different radii so radius of this is something else and radius of some this is something else there are two ends when dip in water vertically now you dip it in water vertically and uh, when you dip it vertically like so water rises uh, in it to a height uh, water will rise automatically because it is a, a capillary tube because it's not very broad it is capillary tube water will rise because this is the this is the magnified picture the tube is actually very thin and generally we have a tube like this these are capillary tube and if we dip this in water then uh, water rises automatically to a certain height from the base level this is automatic rise of liquid and this is capillary action from the base level of uh, free surface of the water now this time this uh, glass tube is not uh, vertical uh, cylindrical it is like uh, this shape something like that something like this so here the liquid will lie suppose up to a certain height that height you have to find the rises to a h where the radius of its uh, cross section is b the height to which it rises suppose the uh, water rises outside suppose here what rises up to here this is suppose the height to which it rises and this is the portion to which the water level increases from this level hi there it's where the radius of its uh, cross section is b let's say here the radius is b this length is b so this is a vertical line this is the axis of this cone and this distance is the b the radius of the point where uh, radius of the section where the liquid rises to a height h if the surface tension of water is s its density is rho and its uh, contact angle with the glass is uh, theta contact angle with the glass is theta the value of h uh, will be contact angle with the glass is theta with the glass uh, the angle it makes here is theta this is theta then uh, what you have to find the 
value of h the height you have to find this is the question now if i want to write the height to which the liquid will rise the expression for rise of liquid in a tube cylindrical tube is given by h is uh, 2t cos theta upon rho r g where where the liquid rises to a height uh, h density of this liquid is rho theta is uh, this angle theta angle of contact r is the radius of the tube g is the acceleration due to gravity and height is h this is the case in uh, when there is a vertical or a cylindrical vertical uh, the tube is having a uniform area of, uh, radius of cross section so uniform area of cross section this is the case now the situation is that uh, this angle is where to find the uh, why the liquid will rise because the pressure at this point outside here here the pressure is uh, more and here the pressure is less because this is uh, concave so the pressure is less and the liquid will rise from the base level so if this i have considered in this uh, situation this is the base level so here the pressure a and suppose the pressure is b pressure at a is more than pressure at b so because of that, that because at a given horizontal level uh, at any two points say a and b the pressure has to be same but because now that the pressure here is more and here is less so the liquid will rise from higher pressure to lower pressure and the liquid will rise and it will rise up to height uh, where the pressure here and that pressure here will become equal so the height of that uh, liquid whatever uh, that pressure that will exert at this point must be equal to the pressure here that is atmospheric pressure and if you solve that you will get this formula that we discussed this is the formula that we will get now the now that it rises we know that if this is the the force is actually acting uh, in the vertical direction that is the force due to surface tension which uh, pulls the liquid up in the tube the force that is acting has to be e if we have this type of meniscus having radius r this type of meniscus having radius r the this one is uh, having a theta angle so this one is having a theta angle opposite angle now surface tension will act along this direction and the component of that will be here t cos theta in this direction so for each uh, length of the each of this circumference the surface tension that is uh, t cos theta will be acting like this so it will be t cos theta now so if i have a length like this this is the effective length and uh, to each point uh, each uh, point on this length on this line the force is uh, acting of the force due to surface tension is uh, t cos theta and uh, 
length is uh, because the radius is r the length is 2 pi r so 2 pi r into t cos theta that is the effective force that is acting along this direction that must be equal to the weight of the liquid that will rise because this is the force which is pulling up and that uh, upward force must be balanced by the weight of the liquid in the container so the weight of the liquid up to this height this height so here to the force that is acting up is this one 2t cos theta r and pi is there and that is balanced by the weight of this uh, part of the liquid in the height h now if i want to solve that then uh, i will have uh, 2t cos theta 2t cos theta and the pi r must be balanced by the height of the liquid uh, in this in this part of the tube that is uh, the mass of this liquid present up to here and the acceleration due to gravity the mass is density into volume into z density in volume is what this is the volume of the cylinder is pi r square h g so 2t is this so pi pi cancels one r will cancel and height h will become 2t cos theta by rho r one r is there rho r g this is the formula you are going to use in this situation of a truncated uh, conical uh, shape uh, in this uh, truncated uh, <coughs> glass tube the in this uh, angle theta will only change and uh, the theta we have to write otherwise uh, the surface tension symbol they have used s uh, all the uh, all the else parameters are remaining the same and uh, we will write only theta factor will change how this theta will change that will uh, write theta will be so this theta will change this theta will change because uh, that up to find out how much it is in this case of situation this is alpha so this length this angle will be alpha by 2 this angle is alpha by 2 and uh, the liquid is suppose somewhere here uh, with uh, radius b so this uh, liquid the length will be like so it is uh, the total length will be 2 pi b and uh, the tension that lack in the upper direction will be t cos of uh, that some angle say beta t cos beta and how to find that angle that is the question and uh, this makes an angle of this makes an angle of uh, theta with the line of this uh, cone and uh, if i want to write uh, what angle it makes with this line actually because our aim is to find what is the angle with respect to this line with respect to this line uh, earlier it was making an angle theta now in the question it is given theta is uh, theta is with respect to the glass a singular contact with the glass is theta so this is a glass this is theta and uh, if this is uh, alpha by 2 if you look at this line this one this one this angle and that angle must be same because in this line this angle and that angle must be same so if this is alpha by 2 this line and this line is exactly same as this line and that line so this angle must be equal to alpha by 2 then uh, with respect to this line because this uh, has to go up what is the vertical 
<coughs> this has to go up and what is the vertical force acting in the upper direction which uh, pulls the liquid off that uh, is a t cos of beta and this beta is actually this angle this angle this whole angle is beta and here this angle beta is actually in this case is a combination of uh, this angle plus this angle this angle was theta and this angle i got now was alpha by 2 so this uh, total angle is now is uh, theta plus alpha by 2 so this beta is nothing but theta plus alpha by 2 if I substitute that I'll get uh, 2 pi b t cos beta so in plus beta right theta plus alpha by 2 that equals to the weight of the liquid rise in the tube and what is the mass density of the liquid and volume is uh, pi r square r square is b square pi r square h this is the height raised so this is the density into volume and this is the mass and this is the g so this is the weight if i put this here cos theta plus alpha by 2 what i'll have this pi will cancel out, what b will cancel out, this h will be 2t cos theta plus alpha by 2 divided by rho h g. Sorry. So this is, uh, uh, this b is left, rho b g, rho b g, because h is you have to find, you have to make this h as subject so rho b g so from here and uh, this t is taken uh, as uh, s over here so this will be 2 s cos of theta plus alpha by 2 divided by rho b g this is the height that has to rise in the tube if i see the option then it is 2 s uh, cos theta plus alpha by 2 2s cos theta plus alpha by 2 rho bg rho bg so this one is uh, the correct answer this is the correct answer so option number 4 is correct so this is the answer to the question okay thank you